forevermore. Read. And have the keys of hell and of death. I got the keys of hell, baby. And death. God, his all power is given unto me. In heaven and in earth. Jesus got the power over every spirit, every principality. Mm -hmm. He has the power and the key. Authority. Keys. Authority. He's got the authority over hell and death. For the Bible says even hell, even death is going to be cast in the lake on fire. When God get through everything going to be judged. You hear me? Right. Read on. Write the things which thou hast seen, and the things which are, and the things which shall be hereafter. Write it. It's settled. It's established. And it's not going away. In 1 Timothy chapter 4, in verse 1, I'll tell you something else, simple. people will get, get foolish in these last days. In the Bible now. Paul said that not only was God manifest in the flesh. Not only was it justified in the spirit. Not only was it seen of angels. Not only was it preached to Gentiles. Not only was it believed on in the world and received up in the glory. But then Paul went further and said, now in the last day, you're going to have church folks to get all crazy. Start talking foolish. This is what the Holy Ghost said. Expressly that in the latter times, we're in that day, baby. We're in that, we're in the latter times. Some shall depart from the faith. People are gonna start leaving the truth. And they're gonna give heed or succumb to seducing spirits and doctrines of devil. Any doctrine that don't teach the baptism in Jesus' name is doctrines of devils. Yeah, that's right. Paul said it's going to happen. People are going to be, going to walk away from God. Get tired along the way. Get caught up in the flesh. Thank you, Jesus. Get caught up in this world. What do it profit a man? To gain the whole world. And die and lose his soul. What do it profit? What will a man give in exchange for his soul? You can't play with the devil. Because he ain't your friend. He'll deceive you. He been around long. He got tricks you never seen. That's why you got to stay in the word, baby. It's what the word say that's going to land you safely. My God, you got shouting folk talking Foolishness, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Mm -hmm. Giving heed to it. Mm -hmm. But it's settled in heaven. Giving heed to Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. Devil. Mm -hmm. Giving heed to Halloween. Demons. Giving heed to Easter and the bunny rabbit. Mm -hmm. Doctrines of devils. I owe God. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Speaking lies. You believe the Bible? Yeah. Speaking lies in hypocrisy. Speaking lies. Telling lies to your children. Oh, Santa, what you want Santa to bring you? <clears throat> Sit on Santa's lap and tell him. And the child said, he said, Mama, Santa smell funny. He said they were whiskey bread. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Telling lies. Deceiving. Being deceived. People say that just don't matter. It do matter. It's an idol. The devil told Eve it didn't matter. See? Told Eve. It don't matter. Look how cunning he is. Did God tell you? Did God tell you if you Eat. Did he tell you you'll die? Yeah. Oh, you won't die. For God know the day you do this, you're going to be like God's. Knowing good and evil. Yeah. And she ate and they died. Adam ate and he died. Mm -hmm. Oh, it don't matter. It's just Santa Claus. 
It's just little thing. You know, he's a demon. Mm -hmm. It's an eye on God. Yep. And you tell him a lie. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. You serve, you're not really just serving, you're not really just serving Santa Claus. You're serving the Son God. Mm -hmm. Because it was ordered to be done. So it goes beyond him. You're idol worshiping one day after year. See? Paul says song on their part. Speaking lies in the park. So right to the church now. Having their conscience see it with a hot eye. Thank you, Jesus. Do it so long it don't even bother the conscience anymore. Don't you know you can do stuff so long till it becomes normal? It becomes second nature. Don't even bother you anymore. But it's still wrong. It don't cease to be wrong because you're comfortable doing it. It don't cease to be wrong because you're comfortable. It's still wrong. And God still opposed. Because it's settled in heaven. It's established in heaven. Righteousness exalts the nation. But sin is a reproach to any people. I'm in the book. Amen. Lord have mercy. Forbidding to marry. You ever seen things like before in your life? Forbidding to marry. Commanding to abstain from me. Look at this shacking world we live in. Shacking. I've never in my life seen so many churches that go along with shacking. They've done it so long that it's customary. It's just normal. They don't talk about it no more. God understand? Yeah, he do understand. He take you to hell. <laughs> You're Forbidden. Even the law of the land recognize partners out of what not being married. Significant others. Pass a law that Two fatties, one get the other and benefits, be on the insurance. It's sick. It is absolutely abomination. Cause it's settled in heaven. It's an abomination before God. It's a sick demon. You weren't made that way. You picked up a demon. Amen. And he twisted you. Thank you, Jesus. God got nothing to do with it. He'll save you. Amen. He'll save you. Deliver you from it. That's what he'll do. But you got to repent. You got to turn. People so rebellious as I die for it. Go ahead and die. The word is still right. Amen. The word is still right. Thank you, Jesus. Forbidden to marry. Commanded to abstain from meat vegetarian. Paul said, he that eateth earth is weak in the faith. He said, go ahead and receive the brother, but he's just weak. You're a weak brother or sister. You won't eat me. Now, if you just choose not to eat me, fine. But if you want to get religious with it, you weak. End of story. That's the Bible. See? And commanding to abstain from me. Commanding people. This was happening. That's doctrines of devils. Man. False teaching. I had a brother try to talk to me about that not eating meat. He put meat down I bad for I know it's messed up. I know the steroids in animals and all kinds of chemicals. I know that. But then I told him, I said, well, your vegetable going to kill you. <laughs> all that insecticide they spray on the vegetable. All those poisons they put in the vegetable. What do you think it is? It's in the vegetable. And who eating it? You. <laughs> the Bible says you pray. Right. Don't take no thought for what you eat. Uh -huh. I don't want fight over but if you want to eat them and ain't no nothing wrong with it. <laughs> pray over them and eat them. That's the book. We got Bible for that. Amen. Pray over your food. Pray our, pray, pray our faith was sanctified. Uh -huh. And you eat what's set before you. But now there's a brother so weak he go backslide if I eat a hamburger in front of him. But then I eat a salad with him. And then we're part company. And when he get out of sight, I go right back in window to get me a triple burger. Because he's weak in the faith. Forbidden to marry, command us things from each. But God had created to be received with thanksgiving of them that believe and know the truth. See? 